Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com my name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to discuss the exam trends for IBPS SO marketing pre exam okay on which sections on which particular topics you should be focusing to score the minimum marks right to score the minimum passing marks right so that's what we are going to discuss today ki kaise aap jo hai score kar sakte hain minimum scores with मिनिमम पासिंग स्कॉज विद मिनिमम प्रिपरेशन राइट सी स्टूडेंट्स देर इज इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज रीजनिंग एबिलिटी एंड क्वान्टिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड सेक्शनल टाइमिंग इज देयर फोर्टी मिनट्स ईच हाउ यू शुड यूज दिस मच टाइम फोर्टी मिनट्स फ्रॉम ईच सेक्शन टू स्कोर द मैक्सिमम मार्क्स इट्स एक्चुअली फॉर एन एवरेज स्टूडेंट इट इज नॉट रियली पॉसिबल टू सॉल्व फिफ्टी रीजनिंग क्वेश्चन विद इन फोर्टी मिनट्स इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल मे बी इट इज पॉसिबल फॉर यू टू आंसर फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन ऑफ इंग्लिश विद इन फोर्टी मिनट्स बट फॉर रीजनिंग एंड ऑल्सो फॉर क्वांट इट इज प्रैक्टिकली नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर एन एवरेज स्टूडेंट बट एन एवरेज स्टूडेंट कैन स्कोर फिफ्टी प्लस मार्क्स टू क्रैक द कट ऑफ हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल you can do this with the help of choosing the easy topics so give it a look students that's these are the question asked in the previous year in 2021 trust me approximation questions were really really easy very easy in the shift 1 5 questions were there from approximation even a 10th grade student can answer these questions uh, these five question within 6 7 minutes right so very easy should be doing missing number series so even if you have done a series topic within like 4 5 days you can solve these questions right so these five marks are easy but the point is when you start the paper the first question that you're going to see is data interpretation that's what my students saw uh, with difficult di sets there were three di sets out of them two were easy uh, actually one castlet di was also there uh so out of four sets two were very easy uh, and two were moderate so what we are looking for we are targeting the easy topics so 10 marks are already here 10 marks are again from the simple di topics and quadratic equation was actually easy six in the evening session and in the arithmetic in the arithmetic out of 10 questions there were questions from partnership there were simple questions were there uh, from time and work so five questions at least five questions were there which were actually very easy so how how many questions we are talking about 26 plus 5 31 being an average student if you attempt 31 questions with 90% accuracy you can score like 27 28 which is a very good score which is a very good score we are not even talking about any you know even age based questions in the uh, in the morning uh, it was easy but uh, you know quadratic equation was there in the evening age based was there in the morning anyways 27 to 28 questions 28 marks you can attain i mean which gives you a really really good start okay so what should be the technique solve the easy questions and just avoid the difficult questions so what what is a difficult question it is a subjective question right so something which is difficult for you may be easy for other student something which is difficult for other student may be easy for you so you need to scheme your paper you need to check see if any question is taking more than 3 minutes if any question is taking more than 3 minutes i mean it's the best strategy even if some any question is taking more than 2 minutes avoid that question at any cost there are a lot a lot of easy questions ahead don't waste your time in in the you know first 20 25 questions i have seen many students there are 50 questions in the exam and there are students who won't even see last 10 questions and trust me last 5 10 questions are the easiest questions in the whole paper in the whole section this is my personal experience right so that's what i wanted to tell you so 27 28 you can easily score here what about the reasoning see reasoning uh puzzles and setting arrangement most of the puzzles were tough except one setting arrangement the circular setting arrangement 
that was easy besides that it was difficult so if you have no experience of solving a puzzle or a sitting arrangement that was tough okay what about the data sufficiency as usual it was easy last year this was easy what about the blood relations it was easy again every year there is two three questions from blood relations which is easily doable inequalities most of the times it is easy right direction sense test always doable within one minute you can solve the question syllogism is always easy coding was last year it was difficult machine input output was difficult logical reasoning was easy but accuracy uh, you know is not there in most of the times in logical reasoning uh, alpha numeric series was uh, it sort of difficult but number series was easy so give it a look how many marks you can score like 15 and 4 19 and 6 20 uh, 5 plus 2 27 again 25 to 27 that can be your score that can be your score 25 to 27 even uh, you know if you are not doing three out of four puzzles still you can score 25 to 27 but i have seen many students what they are going to do they are going to spend like 30 minutes on the four puzzles and they'll end up scoring four five seven marks that's very common that is the only reason behind bad marks in reasoning that is the only reason why you scored three four five marks in the reasoning section because you spent all your time on the puzzle sitting arrangement and uh, the machine input output and those were the most difficult part of your exam you could score much better if you had focused on the easy topics if you do easy topics then you easily kar sakte the. and that should be your strategy this year in the English language see English language if your English is already good if your reading speed is good it's not a difficult section at all the reading comprehension all the reading comprehensions were easy if your reading speed is good time is not a constraint word swaps were sort of difficult para jumbles were sort of difficult but re reading comprehensions was a thing fill in the blanks was really easy error detection closed test miscellaneous questions were somewhere there and these were the easy questions and trust me out of 25 scoring like 16 17 was not difficult because rcs were easy still you could do word swaps see what i recommend my students whenever you see easy questions always attempt all the easy questions out of these 125 questions trust me at least 70 are easy 70 are easy 30 are moderate this is that's what i have seen in the previous papers and like uh, you know uh, 2025 they are hard this is the uh, this is the common uh, pattern i would say 25 questions are hard 70 are easy 30 are moderate you should be focusing on the easy questions if you are having time attempt the moderate question and you should be avoiding the hard questions okay that should be your strategy right you are not supposed to score like 100 marks it is not required anything above 50 is really respectable okay it's respectable in last year's a cutoff were like 30 27 28 when the vacancies were 200 plus vacancies have not been reported by many banks and they'll be reported very soon okay so ibps so marketing course 2022 2023 students we are already doing this in which we are covering both pre and the mains exam and uh, we are providing recorded sessions and live sessions complete syllabus coverage is there the notes are available in the downloadable format there are quizzes test series and interview preparation guidance which is part of the course and all our notes all the study material is well researched we have been doing this from a long time now in the previous years ibps so marketing 2022 all these students that took our courses and they cracked their respective exams uh, in 2021 when there were 60 vacancies all these students that took our courses 2020 all these students that took our courses in the previous years and they cracked their respective exams and if there is any doubt in your mind always ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts 
subscribe the channel and like this video that's really really important for us if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your questions okay and that's actually all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye